Welcome back everyone. So most of you may already know this by now, but One UI 3.5 has came out, which is pretty much the next version of Android for basically Samsung's. And it's been out a couple of weeks now, and I just installed it a few days ago, and I've been using it on my Galaxy S20. And it, me personally, I don't use this S20 as an everyday device, but from what I've seen, and for this being a 3.0 you know, update, basically being this is the first of its kind, we're going to get next updates here and there. But coming from One UI 2.5, this is such a big update in my opinion. Now I'm going to have a separate video talking about all the little you know, hidden changes and stuff like that, which I'm pretty sure most of you have already seen by now. But this update in my experience has covered three different areas, which has actually improved like crazy. And those three areas are stability, performance and battery life and for me personally I've, I have seen a little bit of an increase in pretty much every single one of those categories but because I don't use this phone as an everyday machine I don't really have that much to add but for those of you who have and I've been on the Samsung forums the One UI 3 forums the you know Android forums a lot of people are saying One UI 3 is pretty good and I think this is definitely an improvement now the very first thing that I've seen when I as soon as I booted it up and I started using it a few days ago was the smoothness the One UI 3 from One UI 2.5 especially One UI 2 has such an improvement when it comes down to the stability aspect more so the smoothness aspect and definitely when it comes down to the end animations one thing that i saw that immediately threw like blew my mind was how smooth the animation is for the application switcher so as you can see i don't know how it looks in the camera i don't think it's going to look as good but in person this looks smoother than ios in my opinion and that's something that's super crazy before typically on basically every other device i would always say man it's not as smooth as ios it's not as smooth as in that dude in this case it's actually probably smoother and i remember on one ui 2 and 2.5 I was having a bad experience. I don't know what it was. It was like all glitchy. It was never that smooth. And now it just seems like it's consistently smooth no matter what. And I think that's extremely awesome. The application switcher was the very first thing that I noticed that was immensely smoother. So if you're somebody who, you know, probably uses the stock launcher and stuff like that, the smoothness aspect from going from one thing to the other is definitely going to be there, which is really awesome. And one thing that's really awesome is the new application with the new status, you know, bar so when you swipe down you can actually get into this new status bar which is really cool but again i'll talk more about that in a separate video but these all these animations across the board are just so much smoother and that was the very first check mark that i really really liked from the specific update now the next thing which was the stability so far i haven't had that many stability problems one problem that i always had before was the screen would just glitch up all the time so if i kind of like hovered over if i kind of held the phone like this i would have by now clicked 30 random apps and it would have went all over the place but now it doesn't do that and i'm really happy about that i was still experiencing that problem on one ui 2.5 but if i just kind of like left my phone somewhere and just let it be and i kind of like hovered around it it would randomly start clicking things and it was the most annoying thing ever so far i have not experienced that so the stability aspect in my sense has improved a little bit i haven't really had any closing apps or anything super crazy like that and like i said with that new smoothness improvement in my opinion it really makes this phone feel almost like a brand new phone it's already a brand new phone it's almost a year old though believe it or not but this phone definitely has increased in stability now battery life wise I have been hearing a lot of reports from a lot of people across the board that this has actually improved battery life like a little bit. I don't want to say like an insane amount, but some people, I saw this one post on Reddit, someone saying that, you know, they used to have like seven hours of screen on time on One UI 2 or 2.5, and now it's like 10 hours of screen on time or some crazy number like that with, you know, still having 120 hertz refresh rate and all that stuff. Now that's kind of a high, you know, screen on time, but the numbers may have been like four hours and six hours, something like that. But you know, the point being, there was more of a screen on time, better battery life on One UI 3 than on One UI 2 or 2.5. So that stuff right there is super insane to me. So this only makes me believe that One UI 3 is an amazing update for the Galaxy S20 series. I've not tested it yet on, you know, any of the A, M, or Note series yet. But the S20 seems like it has really gotten a kind of breath of fresh air on the One UI 3 update. I'm just really hoping that the Galaxy S10 and those devices can also maintain some of that. But in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, also every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.